I started today thinking I was going to get just time dedicated in the office. It was going to be pretty good, very few meetings, and it was just going to be relaxed. I was going to be chill. I was going to get loads of work done. It was going to be great. And then I worked in the morning. There were a few calls. It kept me kind of busy. I got things knocked out, and we had this lightning strike out at the beach, so we needed to go do some shopping to replace some stuff. So I sent a note to Saeed and said, you know, I think I could probably make it to Managua today. And within minutes, he just showed up at the house and was waiting for me, and I'm like, uh... Okay, so very quickly got ready, jumped in the car, and we ran to Managua. We didn't actually leave until early afternoon, maybe about one. So we got out to Managua a little bit in the middle afternoon. It was a nice drive. We did a tiny bit of filming in the car, but only the tiniest bit. It was a little bit late, and it's just it's, sometimes it's hard to film in the car. I did get some cool driving shots of Managua, so check out my vlog if you're interested in any of that. Or Drive Warp, we'll probably get it sometime in the future. And uh, But we decided, we got into town, we hadn't eaten all day, and uh, we're like, hey, let's go check out the China, the Shanghai Bistro. I'm pretty sure that's the name at the Gallerias. He's never been to the Gallerias and definitely never to the Shanghai Bistro. We both like Chinese food. So we went there and had a really good lunch. So first of all, the venue, spot on, really like that. And the food was, was really good. It's not American Chinese, it's Chinese Chinese, but really good. I got sweet and sour shrimp. Uh, we got some spring rolls. We got some sushi, which of course is not Chinese. And uh, I don't know if I would go there for the sushi, but it was very good sushi. But the sweet and sour shrimp, a little bit different than the style I'm used to as uh, American, but it was excellent, very good quality, really tasty, good sized portions, a little bit pricey. We're talking meals that vary between like 18 and $22 for most things. So this is very expensive for Nicaragua, but this is also the Galerias with views of the Hyatt. Uh, so it's one of the most expensive of little spots you could be in in a very high-end Chinese restaurant. This is definitely a place that's meant for date night, right? Very fancy, lots of decor. If you were in the States, you'd be like, oh yes, this is a very impressive restaurant. This is a very expensive special occasion dinner. And then, you know, I was getting shrimp, which is a pricey item compared to say chicken or, or pork or beef. And I think my meal was 17 something, like basically $18. The spring roll was $1.55 each, which for the U.S. sounds cheap, but for here is outrageously expensive. Um, uh, the the I think it was like eight dollars for a sushi roll. Again, here that one's actually not that bad, but it is on the high side. Uh, but in the states, again, you would not get a sushi roll for eight dollars even at the grocery store. So it was not it was not high priced, but it was definitely high for Nicaragua. Considering we go to Pane y Vino, and I can get a uh, really nice salmon pasta for like. $12, it gives you a little bit of a gauge. And salmon is more expensive than shrimp by quite a bit because shrimp comes from here, salmon does not. We have to import it. So there is a cost to that. Both of those are Managua prices. So, uh, but that was an excellent lunch. It was worth it. We really enjoyed it. And the, and the venue, the service, everything was fantastic. So very, very good place uh, that I would recommend. It's right above Mugs Coffee Bar. If you ever see them advertised, that's a really high-end cafe that I've not checked out, but I now know where it is. I need to go check that out. That'd be cool. Um, once I have the Pocket 3, which is just a few weeks away, I'm going to do a lot more filming venue type stuff, and that'll be pretty cool. You just need that for like the, the format and keeping it small and unobtrusive. Um, but we did that. We did lunch, and then um, it was actually like 4.30 by the time we were done eating. You can kind of gauge where we were for the day. And then uh, we ran to... Comtech, which is actually a pretty nice store. The prices are high here, remember, uh, but we had to buy some routers and access points, real boring stuff, switches. Uh, but then while we were there, my keyboard, which is, it's been kind of, it wasn't great. I got a cheap one, but it was part of this pink set from, from Miniso, uh, which is like one of the Chinese five and dime type stores, dollar store type things. It was very cheap. It was cool, but it never worked quite right, and it was definitely not the best quality. It All the keys have wiped off, so you can't see what the keys are. It's getting sticky. I've only had it for, I don't even think, a year. So, it, it, I mean, it worked for some time. We were there, and Logitech had some amazing keyboards, so... I splurged and got myself an amazing mechanical Logitech keyboard. I realize that there's some places that make like outrageously good keyboards. I can't get those here, but that Logitech, they had multiple colors. They had a pink one. I almost got the pink one to stay pink, but I know my I'm moving my office to all white and orange type stuff. So I got this like dark brown or, or dark gray and yellow keyboard. It's good. And the mechanical, like it sounds like the old IBM keyboards of my childhood. It looks great on my desk. It connects to multiple computers, which has been an issue that I've had. So it solves multiple problems that I didn't even know it was going to be able to solve. Uh, it, it, it just, I'm really happy with this keyboard. Of all things, I forget sometimes that these are the kinds of things that really change your life and make you happy. I'm so glad I splurged on that. And then, uh, so we were there until about closing. So we probably left about 5.30 or 6.00. 
just got straight on the or the road, drove back, but um, uh, Saeed's vehicle, we took mine, uh, was here. His lights aren't working, so he couldn't go back to the beach. So we ran straight to the beach, uh, went to El Simple, the uh, Simple Beach Lodge, for a little bit. Uh, just I just grabbed a soda, hung out there for a little bit. Uh, Marcel and some friends and her kids were all there hanging out. So we hung out there maybe an hour. Uh, Russell, our uh, empanada girl, was there. We all hung out. And then, um, it's a funny way to describe her, but it's the only reason that people know, on, on my uh, channel know her. And then um, we went over to Caracolitos for karaoke. We're only there for maybe half an hour. Everyone was kind of not feeling it. They wanted to go out in the city and stuff. So um, I drove everyone back. Uh, to to the apartment, dropped them all off, came home and got to work. I didn't have time to do my video yesterday, any videos yesterday uh, uh, on the day of, of this. I'm recording this the day after. And uh, so I had to do all that all at once. So I was up until three o'clock in the morning getting video. I had to record the video after midnight, had to do my connections and puzzles that we do every night with the girls and, uh, and did that. Tomorrow, I've got meetings in the morning at one o'clock. Tomorrow, I'm taking the kids to Sakura uh, for coffee and, and treats. Uh, that is our, our afternoon father-daughter uh, uh, hangout time. And then around four o'clock, a bunch of us are heading out to the beach because we're going to see Larry Emerson. We never get to see him in the afternoon, so this is a treat for us. Uh, Larry Emerson is gonna be playing at the Simple Beach Lodge, um, and we're gonna do our best to record for Nika Roomba and uh, uh, maybe even do a live stream from there. So that is what we have going on. Wow, that's a lot. Tomorrow it's going to be busy. This whole next set of days is very, very busy. There's just a lot of events going on. A lot of people asking us to go out and film and record and stuff. So uh, going to be busy with that. Anyway, that was my day. It was pretty exhausting, actually, just running around doing a bunch of stuff. But we took care of some important things. So see you guys tomorrow.